This video is about something in P5 which I know a lot of students struggle with, which is motors. The first thing that we have to consider with the motor effect is that if there's a wire carrying a current, and that this is at right angles to a magnetic field, that the wire itself is going to experience a force, so the wire is going to move. So we can use Fleming's left hand rule to work out which direction the, um, the wire is going to move. So if we've got uh, the north and south pole of the magnets here, we're going to have a magnetic field going from north to south. And then if we have a wire going through that magnetic field at right angles with a current going through it, uh, going from positive to negative, then we can use Fleming's left hand rule to work out uh, which direction this is going to go in. So your first finger will show the field going from north to south. Uh, your second finger will show the current going from positive to negative, so our thumb will show us the motion, which will show that this wire will move upwards. So now let's consider this situation where we've got a magnetic field that's the same as uh, the previous example, but this time the current is going in the opposite direction, so positive would be at the bottom of the diagram, negative would be at the top. So this time we have to twist our hand around to show that the current is going in the correct direction, which would mean that the wire would move down. So how does this apply to motors? Well, a motor is two magnets with a loop of wire within the magnetic field. As you can see with this, um, two sides of the wire are at right angles to the magnetic field. So as we've just seen, they'll both experience a force. So if we use this, uh, this demonstration, um, we can see that one side is going to go up and one side is going to go down. So I've drawn the current on there for you. And then once it's uh, flipped over once, we can see that the current's in the same direction. So the same side is going to go down and the other side's going to go up. This will just result in the motor flipping from one way to another, which is not so helpful because we use mo motors to rotate things. However, on this model, we can see that one side will go up and the other side will go down. And then when it's flipped over, the, uh, the current will have reversed and so it will carry on turning in the same direction. This gives us the spinning that we want. And this can happen due to um, a little device called a split ring commutator. The job of the commutator is to rotate the motor um, rather than it flipping from one side to the other and it does this by reversing the current every half turn. So um, the fact that the split ring commutator allows it to rotate rather than flip means that it, it can be used for anything that spins really. So um, good examples are washing machines, blenders, DVD players, fans, um, anything that turns something round. Um, you are sometimes required to give examples of things in your exam um, and please don't write the wheels of a car because um, it's not an example of an electric motor.